Whoa. It's the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on space, ship, earth. Ah, uh, a little coffee. A little get up and go. A little get up and go. It's it's uh it's Sunday up there. There's been a uh, big fire up in the Trout Creek the last last week. Looks like they might be getting a little bit of a handle on it. The last last five days there's been a huge cumulus clouds rising out of there from us. Uh, fire created weather man it's been pretty wild i hope they're getting it under control it's a pretty nice area in the uh northwest corner of the dome lands wilderness <sighs> i thought i would uh talk about reinventing yourself Seems like a great time to reinvent yourself. I mean, the world's in total turmoil. There's an utter clown show invading the North America psyche. I never, I never thought the uh, insane clown posse would get the traction it's gotten, but man, it's it's taken it's taken over the government. Ah, comedy, man. Next thing I'm expecting to get a 12 pack of Fago in the mail from the uh, from the White House, man. At this point, but um, no, no. So it's a great it's a great time to reinvent yourself. So I like we're reinventing yourself right at 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 55 years of age, right? Teaching old dogs new tricks. Cause I I guess I'm not a kid anymore. Right. <laughs> Don't let the glasses fool you, dude. But uh No, I've 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 been uh I've been I was talking with my wife about it the other day, dude, and you know there was uh and I was just talking about the, the arc with with this phase of my life, like pre sobriety, post sobriety, right? Like Pre sobriety, sort of stuck in a uh, in a dimension, if you will, and, and and at that stage of my life, having no clue that I could shift into a new dimension, right? Just just stuck, just stuck, stuck in the black goo of of a reality gone off track, right? And then you, then you get sober, man, and 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 in the in the sobriety I participated in, like you had a big moment to reinvent yourself in sort of an alignment with the spiritual understanding of the nonsensical nature of this lower dimension, right? Hence the illusion comes into the into the into the picture. And and as we all know, like that was just a uh I was all meant to be, man. I didn't even try hard at that. It just it just sort of happened. And then I look at the I was, you know, I've been looking at the I've been doing a little bit of like analyzing. I I'm not one to go back into the wayback machine and 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 dwell upon the past, but I don't close the door on it either. So I've been, I've been sitting at this stage of the game going, okay, I, I'm ready for a, uh, a reinvention, right? And, and I was looking back at, you know, 14 and a half years ago, and I was like, I should try not to say like, like, 14 years ago, it was pretty easy because I didn't know any better. At that, at that time, it was all sort of experimental, manifesting, 
with divine intuition based upon a blank canvas, right? I had a blank canvas in, in 2010 and moved the ball forward and enabled all these these things to manifest themselves. And then I had the, uh, I got the blank canvas again in 2018 when the fire came and burned down my community and burned down my house and just burned it all down, down to the, down to the ground. And, and here I am. And so you get to this, this moment where, where I think, you know, alcoholism back in the day was self couldn't reveal self to self, right? I didn't really understand what the predicament I was in. I didn't understand that there was a solution. I didn't really have any idea that I, how deep I was into a problem and that that problem was solvable. I think that was the first moment of life when I realized that, that most problems are solvable. So when the, when the fire happened in that, in that phase of, of, I knew I could solve the problem. I just had to stay on course. I just had to stay true to my spiritual condition. And here I am now, and I'm living in this trippy world and I don't mean the bigger world I mean my own world right here with cows and stuff I build and and that and I realized in order to go to the next level of it all I have to sort of reinvent myself for the next phase of life and I think I've been you get to a point in life, and this is more for the younger ones out there, you do, you do get to a point in life where you begin to understand the difference between the, the truth of your, of your physical reality versus the delusions of your mental state, right? Like, mentally, the two worlds that they, they don't, they don't align. So, well, they do, but it's, it's the thing is I know the clock's running now. And I've always known the clock is running, but I guess what I'm saying is the clock is running to do those things I want to do. Like I still have my list. Like, look, I'm, I'm not going to go out and suddenly become a, a big wall free solo rock climber. Like, that's not what, that's not the reinvention I'm talking about. I'm talking about reinventing the skill set that I had and it, and going after some of the prizes in that skill set. So like I'm a surfer, right? I don't really subscribe to labels, but like one of the skill sets as I have is my interaction with the ocean on a surfboard. I'm a skateboarder, interaction with, with the world via skateboard. And, and, and if I look at those two things, there's a certain clock on, on those activities to go out and really go for it. You know, I, I think if you were, if I was 30 years ago being 55 and I don't think you'd really see the, like, the same, I think there's a different level of longevity right now, which is, which is sort of like kind of rad that at 55, I can still be like, I'm ready to go charge into some pretty prickly environments, surfing and skating wise. You know, I gave up my big, my big thing of like attempting the mega ramp, right? That was like something I was really trying to figure out how to get to. 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago, I was really putting the word out that I wanted to give the mega ramp a go. And I'm pretty sure I could have done it. Now I, I know, now I, I, it's not, it's, it's might be the physical limitations, just backs and just the back basically. But I think as a surfer, 
I can go go after it still. And I don't really, I don't have any desire to ch charge like Mavericks or Jaws or Chopu or anything like that. I mean, just go get in the, the thick of it in some gnarliness out there, the, the travel, the whole thing. And so I'm sitting at the jumping off point because I've kind of stabilized the reality here and I have to figure out how to fold in the next level and have it sustain itself. And what I mean by that is when I was 14 years ago getting sober and I reinvented, became the illusion and financed my life off of YouTube and making art and 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 some carpentry here and there, I was sort of set free to, to kind of chase these, these sort of outside the box goals. You know, I was able to run for city council a couple times. I was able to get super involved with some peripheral stuff that I wouldn't have been able to do if I had been just head down in a 12 pack and, and slaving away, right? Like sobriety freed me up enough to be able to get some space on it all. And so I was looking about back at that sort of sweet spot of, of, you know, 2011, 2012, when I'm going off to Indonesia and Chile and London and I'm making travel videos and I'm getting all the juicy rental vans and all that kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm right here now and I, and I found, and I guess this is the point of it is, is as I'm reevaluating and readjusting myself, I find that the hardest part right now is, is, is sticking to the groundwork. And what I mean by groundwork is all of my endeavors are based upon a certain, certain physical condition and a sort of mental and spiritual condition as well. And like a month ago, I kind of clicked in and was like, all right, I got to change all of that. And, and to stay consistent with it, I found has been very difficult. In that sense is like, I see it, but I, I don't, maybe I, I don't see it, but I know what it could be. But I don't see it. And that's based upon like past ex experience. Like that's, that's sort of not based upon past experience. Like the way I was able to pull it off with before is I couldn't see that. I couldn't see the goal. I couldn't see what was up ahead. I was just fully in the now. And I realized like, as I'm making this video, as I'm making this sentence, as I'm nowing that I haven't been in the now about it at all. I've been totally on, on either side of the now. I've been, I've been trying to future trip. And this is what, what I think I'm getting at is I've been trying to future trip and I keep bumping into like blank, blank canvases. So when I, they say you get, you get sober the day before you were going to die. Right. And I distinctly remember the day before I got sober, like my vision of the future, it was just a blank screen. And not a, not a blank, like white canvas, just like a blank black TV screen, if you will. Just a nothingness, just a void. There was no, there was nothing there, right? It was just the absence of light and color and all of that stuff. And now I'm trying to like see what's in the, in the potentiality. And I just keep getting the opposite of that, which is blank canvas like blank white open canvas which is the full embodiment of all potential all color all all of it just blank white canvas and i don't and i don't know what to put on it and and that and what i'm getting at is when you're reinventing yourself i think i think the the hardest thing is to let go of the fact you don't need to know what's on the canvas and at the same time project onto the canvas 
without muddling it with preconceived notions. It, it's sort of a, a, a mental block I got right now. Like if I was writing a, if I was a writer, it would be like a writer's block. I'm, I'm having that creative block where, where I, I'm just staring at the blank canvas and I'm trying to put something on there and and it's not even like I'm doing stuff and I'm crinkling it up and I'm throwing it into the waste bin. It's just I'm like staring at it going, I'm supposed to put something up there, which is very unnow of me because here I am on the masterpiece I've been working on anyhow, right? So there's this duality going on with this reinventing yourself at this stage of the game because when I first reinvented myself, it was super easy because I didn't know my ass from my elbow. It was all just, just, just pure momentum out of the depths of hell. And then when the, the reinventing after the fire, it was just that, that I know I can do it vibe because I already did it once. And so now I'm at that thing and it's sort of, I'm in neither one of those spaces, right? Like I, I I've, and I, I think that's, I think they call that midlife crisis, but I, do, I don't really buy into it, but I do see it on a, on a really trippy level. And so here I am, like I have, and I'm, I'm talking to myself basically, but I'm also, I don't think I'm the only one who's, who's at this weird jumping off point right now of, of. I talk about it a lot of my live streams. It's like, we can't wait around. We got to row. We got to row our lifeboats to the new, new horizons, man. And I'm sort of in that thing where like, maybe it's, you know, you know, in, in they talk about the horse latitudes, right? Where you get, you're out sailing across the ocean and you get into where there's no wind, there's nothing. And you just, you're just floating in the, perfectly glassy ocean with no, it's almost like a, an optical illusion, dude, because you, your depth of field is completely gone. You're just surrounded 360 by sheet glass reflection of the sky. Like it, it, it it's probably pretty uh, disoriented. And I think that's it. I gotten far enough away from the sinking ship and now I'm in that sort of horse latitudes thing where I know there's not really any need to row right now. It's just sort of like float and get ready for when the wind comes back, which is a physical thing. I think right now is, is I got to focus on the physical, but also it's, it's an economic thing. Like, like it's all sort of stopped right now for a minute. What are you doing, Brownie? I think Brownie says it's it's time to go. It is it's time to go to church, but I'm just I'm trying to do more of these these sort of videos. It's a good little spot right here. I like it. My buddy my buddy Brad told me I should get get sunglasses, and these are the sunglasses I got. I don't know if I uploaded the sunglasses video or not, but I got these because, dude. It's a clown show. Anyway, hey, links down below, man. Um, to crowdfunded reality, but it's also an input-based reality. So if you have any uh, insights or questions or you want to goose this channel in a direction, I'm fully inclined. But most importantly, just use the name tags and uh, take care of yourself and don't buy into the hustle, dude. It's the illusion signing off.